All right, third down wasn't good enough. Red zone wasn't good enough. We, we got to win the situational. We got to win in our situational football. We got to try to get points there. We didn't. Credit to Atlanta. Really good defense. They did a good job of forcing us to kick field goals in those in those positions. But just have to go back, look at the film, find a way where we can, you know, operate better on third down and find a way to get in the end zone. Yeah, they made a play. They made a couple of plays there at the end of the game, uh, and we didn't. So a credit to those guys for stepping up, making a play when they had to. You look at CJ and some of the things he did late in the game. Did you feel like the momentum was starting to come back? Yeah, the momentum, it started to roll there late. Uh, I was proud of our offense for the way they drove down at the end of the game to give us an opportunity right, to go out and finish and win this game. But the game came up, came up short. Yeah, we were in position. We got to make plays, right? And that's what it comes down to, right? When you're in position, can you make plays, right? Tackling, right? Not allowing leaky yardage. When the pass does come out, a lot of leaky yardage there. Uh, you got to play with better eye discipline. But when you're in a spot and you have to make a play, you a lot of contested catches that they came down with and we didn't. So we just have to find a way, right, for playmakers to step up and make plays in those situations. Uh, it wasn't that anything different, right? A lot of play action pass game, which is what they shown, what we practice. Like as, as I said, like when you are in that position, right, you just have to make a play. Uh, credit to Atlanta today, they made the plays in those situations, and we did it. So if you want to win games in this league, you got to step up and make plays, right? You got to got to make plays happen. I'm proud of the defense for right taking the ball two times, right, and giving us the opportunity. Right? But again, it's too many, too many. Uh, Plays where we didn't come down with it. No, we had our opportunities, right? I think you know they did a good job of converting on some third downs, and we didn't convert on third down, and that's where the time of possession, right? That's where it flipped. Yeah, we we'll always mix it up defensively. Uh, so whether it's pressure, all right, dropping that coverage, we'll always continue to mix that up. Yeah, again, I mean, credit to him and the offense for when it was time to go and make a play, right? Even though it wasn't great throughout the game, we started a little slow there. But when it was time to go and finish, you know, Proud of CJ and the way he went down, drove the offense down and finished the run game, got going there to help us out. And just you saw the offense play more efficiently there and they were able to put the ball in the end zone. Yeah, I think we have to get it get it going, right? We have to get it going. We're gonna keep running it, right? We gotta block it better, we gotta run it better. We'll take a few more. What do you think Schultz today let you guys in yards, catches, the touchdown? Yeah, show us another another good day in the passing game, right? Last week came down with a touchdown again this week, so um, good outing by him. Yeah, it was huge for us to get those takeaways, something we talked about that was going to be, right, that was going to be the key to us flipping this game, right? They've done a great job protecting the ball. We just had to take it away and actually get points off of it. We, we converted, I think, a field goal off of the first uh, takeaway, but we did. We had to punt after the second one. So it was just a matter of us trying to, again, we got to get in the end zone. got to be able to score some points off of those turnovers. I will see. Yeah, we'll see how Tank is going later in the week. Yeah, you know, I, I felt good about kicking a field goal there. It was a successful drive. I wanted to just finish, come away with points. How do you, how do you speak to the team after this? What was the response? What's, what's kind of your thoughts going on? Yeah, again, the guys are, as, as you would expect, guys are, you know, disappointed. Feel like it's a game we could have had. But as so I told our guys, we had a lot of opportunities, right, a lot of chances for us to make plays. That wasn't the case, right, but who's going to step up and make those plays and those opportune moments? And we didn't do that today. Your thoughts on Got CJ overall, and then he extended his uh, streak of no interceptions to start. 
All right. Yeah, CJ is continuing to do a really good job of first protecting the ball, protecting the team. He's continued to you know, play well, right? And we just have to continue to play well around him. CJ, um, obviously, you know, you guys lose today. How do you guys keep to prevent it from kind of spiraling or turning into two losses, three losses, four losses? How do you guys prevent it to make sure that it's only this week you guys need to come back? We take it one week at a time, right? And it's about how you're going to come back, how you're going to prepare, right, after you lose. Are you preparing the same way each and every week? It can't change, right? You can't get comfortable and relax once you win a couple games, right? Every week is tough in this league. So it's just a matter of, again, being on the details and the preparation. So I truly believe in, right? And it's we'll see how our guys respond this week. Last one. Uh, you know, just with the, with the lead, the opportunity to kind of uh, have the defense close one out, I mean, as a defensive coach, as you're looking at that, what, what's that opportunity? Yeah, when you're in those positions, it's two-minute drives, right? It, you have to close it out by getting pressure on the quarterback, right? And you have to close it out by making a play when the ball is up in the air. We didn't, we didn't do either one of those. You're not going to win games if you play that way. All right, thank you guys.
Uh, it's a blessing, man. I uh, just want to thank God, my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, for the opportunity to play um, in, his, in his great league against a great opponent like the Falcons. Um, but, yeah, man, it's tough. Um, it's hard to go out like that. Um, and, yeah, it's, I've been uh, done bad in this stadium two times now, so I don't think it's funny. But, um, you know, it is what it is. Um, Got to just go back to the drawing board and keep working. Uh, they were loading the box, um, making it really, really hard for us to run the ball. Um, and I feel like we still try to withstand that and get positive runs. But um, it's hard to live in, in third and long. And um, I think today was probably our worst day in third down. And that's on me. I got to um, take completions and be better on third down. Um, but it's hard playing from third and 10 and plus um, in the NFL. And um, they were running different coverages and things like that. I feel like we handled that well on first, second down, throwing the ball. But um, just – some things that, that we didn't capitalize on, those turnovers, our defense got us. We got to score points on that. Um, we got to help our defense out. So, um, overall, man, um, it's a lot to learn from. Some positive and negative, just like every game. And it just sucks because you, you lose. But I um, think a lot of positive things happen, but got to get better in a lot of uh, areas. Yeah, I mean, um, it's tough to, to execute in this league without running the ball. Um, you have to have a balance, um, and I don't think we did terrible. It's just one, once we got down to the red zone, we were taking negative plays um, and then living in a third down world where that's tough. We weren't in like third and short or like third, five, um, immanageable. We were in like third and 10, third and eight, um, third and 12, and those were tough. So um, I felt like we battled, man. We, 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 we played a four-quarter game. Um, and it's tough to go out like that, but like then again, we gotta help our defense out. Like, like they get two turnovers, big time turnovers, plus 45. We don't score, um, and then uh, we get another turnover, and then we go three and out. Like that's tough. So we gotta be better. When you look at games like this and those close losses, can maybe something you learn a lot from, and maybe be a springboard for the next game or games after that. Yeah, everything is a learning lesson. Um, I don't really believe in taking L's. I think you only take an L when you don't learn from it. Um, but our record would say as such. But I think this game will teach us uh, that we can't put ourselves in a hole like that, keep shooting ourselves in the foot, and expect to win close games. Um, and uh, we had plenty of times to, to score points. Um, and it's on me and, and, and to execute the offense at a higher level. Um, so um, got to get back to the drawing board. But I definitely think we can learn from this. Yeah, um, it's cool. Um, I got close a couple of times. Those DBs are really good. I think every week I've almost thrown a pick, so I, it, it's cool. But I don't – guys have been dropping them, I guess. But, um, no, nah, it, it, it's important to take care of the football. I don't think I put it in harm, harm's way too many times. Um, the one today, number three, made a, make a heck of a play, two, playing two different routes um, and drove on the ball. He's a really, really good player, Jesse Bates. Um, and um, I just want to – let our offense know and let my coaches know they can trust me with the football um, because turning the ball over um, is, is a recipe to, to lose and um, our defense goes and gets two and we don't capitalize on that and we don't win and that's like not the margin I think of the turnovers if you look back if you get two plus turnovers you should win the football game so it's tough. means everything. Um, uh, I played a lot of football in my life, and um, I think that has paid dividends for me um, coming into these harsh environments and these situations. I played in the stadium before in critical situations, and um, I, I think I put put like a, a certain dog in me that I don't flinch, um, and it, that really has a testament to do with the guys around me. Um, and then just the work that, that not only myself, but we put in. And I put a lot of, a lot of extra work in every week uh, just to give our offense a chance and our team a chance to win football games. So I think guys have seen that. And um, it's not just me, though. Like, up front, man, I think they play really stout, like, against a real good de de uh, defense line and linebacker core. Um, our guys on the outside play very well. Um, and I, I got to make some certain throws and, and be better. So, um Overall, to get better, but yeah, man, it, it feels good for those guys to look at me in my eyes and for me, like, not to flinch and I let them know, like, man, I'm gonna fight with y'all regardless.
it's cool. Uh, it, it's special. Um, those guys are special football players, and um, I know my path might be different than theirs. And um, I, they, they've like I've talked to Tom, like I've told y'all before. I've talked to multiple great quarterbacks. Um, Tua was was amazing to me in our joint practice. Uh, gave me a lot of great feedback. Um, and um, uh, I, mean, I talked to Dak in high school. I remember, and he gave me a lot of confidence then. So um, I appreciate the just the, like the unity and the and the brotherhood uh, the, like the NFL quarterback has and. Um, I want to be great like they are, um, but I have my own path and my own way to do it. So I'm going to use those things that they've taught me and explained to me from from my uh, from my game. And if it works for me, it, it, it's good. But if it doesn't, man, I'll, I'll do something else. But I really appreciate those guys and um, definitely want to be great like them one day. Yeah, they were in a um, in a six one front um, with really just crowding the line of scrimmage, linebacker roaming around, um, um, shooting gaps, um, and they were manning on the outside, playing quarters of two high shell. So um, it's hard to kind of take shots in that look, and um, I feel like our receivers did a great job still trying to get off press coverage. Okuda and, and, and AJ Terrell, two great defensive backs. I think they're a great uh, tandem together. Um, but they're in a, in a quarters look, a lot of cover two. Tampa not trying to let us take shots. Um, and then they were uh, switching up on third down, um, playing like a, a robber. Like they would drop both safeties, run somebody through the middle. Um, and I felt like I seen it well, but when they're calling things and um, sometimes our plays don't have the, the exact route that we would like uh, to win in that coverage, it's tough. Um, so it's hard on, on me, it's hard on Bobby uh, to, to execute because uh, you got to have man plays, man routes, you got to have zone plays, zone routes. And when they play certain coverages for you to just take the check down, um, I feel like we did a good job of just um, not not being dumb and just man, whoever whatever they run, we're gonna throw the ball deep. Like that, that's a recipe to lose. So uh, we 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 try to just keep chopping wood. And I feel like we did that, um, but just gotta score, gotta score touchdowns in the red zone, not not field goals. So. Just uh, want to know every play. Uh, I just want to do that one play right, um, and then move on to the next, um, and then bank those reps that that you had um, in, in in previous situations um, in uh, in the game. Uh, what coverages have they been running? If, they, if it's been more, more man, more zone, um, uh, what kind of blitz look could it be? Like just trying to pick up little nuances throughout the game and using that every play. Um, but man, just just not blinking, like just having a, a mentality, like man, I won't be denied. Um, I think our offense showed that right there, um, and it was good for us to kind of have a, a, a critical situation to go down and score and show that we can do it. Um, and Dalton made a heck heck of a route, heck of a play. Um, our O line played really stout all game. Tight ends helped out with that. Running backs tried to run the ball as best they could. Uh, receivers played well. So, um, and then with Tank and them going down, like, that was tough. Um, but man, it, it was it was a special drive, and wish it came out different, but. Um, we're going to go back to the drawing board and try to get better. So, all right, man, God bless.